Birmingham cruised into a two-goal lead, but by the end were grateful for a point. Jose Dominguez set them on their way after just eight minutes. The Portuguese striker, who was replacing Kevin Francis, showed a keen eye for goal. The promotion party was up and running. And when Peter Shearer headed in a second, Birmingham looked capable of running up a cricket score. Shearer had to hobble off with an ankle injury. Gary Cooper was controversially sent off for a second bookable offence. Brighton seized their chance and stormed back into the match. They made the extra man count as Stuart Mundy's overhead kick found the gap. Stuart Storer pulled them level just after the break with the keeper caught in no man's land. Ian Chapman edged Brighton in front for the first time and Birmingham's memorable week looks set to end in disappointment. Manager Barry Fry will be less than pleased with his defence. Trailing 3-2 and down to 10 men, the signs weren't good. Referee Uriah Rennie stepped in to save their day. He awarded them a penalty for a push on substitute Paul Tate. Brighton protested furiously. Skipper Steve Foster claimed afterwards the match official was intimidated by the home crowd. Mark Ward scored at the second time of asking. Birmingham can secure the championship with a home victory over Bradford on Tuesday night.